think it's got to be Demoiselle. I like to be Demoiselle, I think. Oh, I want to play you. <laughs> 25,000 years old, Demoiselle, kind of quietly behind the scenes, running things, being sly. Laura does it so well, I don't, I don't want to touch it, but I think, um, I think it'd be fun trying to understand what it's like to be a robot, and she navigates that performance so beautifully. Oh, if I could play any character, it would probably be Dawn. Dawn changes a lot, obviously, because of the way the nature of the Cleons. Cassian, who plays Dawn, uh, gets to do so many things as an actor, and that's really exciting. The Emperor of the Galaxy, very simple. <laughs> I think I would be a good leader, like, openly. Okay. I mean, the obvious answer is the Prime Radiant. I think in some way that the Vault is more impressive than the Prime Radiant. There's like a device in season one where um, you can kind of put this laser thing over something and just fix it. <laughs> uh, that Sabo uses um, on the Invictus, and I, I think that's a great thing <laughs> that I would love to have. <laughs> I do like the the bracelet. The protective aura. I'm so clumsy. <laughs> I trip and fall all the time. And I get bruises all the time. So I probably would save myself from all of that if I had one of those. Well, I think I already did. Do you trust the math? I definitely could not win a galaxy-wide math contest. There's no way that Harry Seldon would ever pick me as a prodigy. Um, no. No, 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 I, uh, I really suck at math. I reckon I could win a galaxy-wide math contest if it was trigonometry, because I actually hilariously used to do that as a hobby, just like solve trigonometry when I was younger. Wouldn't we all like to mind read? <laughs> I think that would uh, save me a lot of time. <laughs> I definitely nerded out on the fact that the Prime Radiant we explain as a, as a a quantum device that's in a state of superposition, which means it can sort of be in two places at once. I love that. I love that the vault is a tesseract, meaning it's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside, because I think that's really mind-blowing, and I love where that mind takes me. I sure would love to have a bishop's claw that I could just ride and that would defend me if anyone attacked me. I think that one's pretty cool. See, yeah, this is the question. This right. is the question. This is the question. I hope so. Isn't that where we're headed? I don't know, you guys tell me. <laughs> uh, no, definitely not. Uh, we should all be scared of AI. I think we probably can exist peacefully, but we're gonna have to compromise on some things, I reckon. It's so complicated, and, I, and also, you, I mean, you look at it happening right now, I, I know people who look at their phones more than they look at their spouse. And the beautiful thing about like communicating with a human is that you always have to take a risk that you don't know how the other person is gonna communicate with you, kind of like falling in love, it's always a risk. Easy, I, I easy, think, yeah. deal.